wouldn't it be amazing if I could create a drum kit in Ableton where every sound, every pad was actually an instance of ADSR Sample Manager. So I did it. What's up guys? It isn't so often that I get really excited about a free plugin. But today I've got something really special. It's the ADSR Sample Manager. Did I mention it's free? It's completely changed the way I use samples when I create music. It makes my workflow faster, it helps me build drum kits and find samples I already own really quickly. No matter where I downloaded them from, splice.com, sounds.com, or pretty much anywhere. I recently downloaded some samples from orbitsound.com. I think it's pronounced orbitsound.com. And Sample Manager tagged them and made them searchable and ready to use right away. Now, if you've ever tried to use samples in your song, you know this problem well. How do you organize them and find them quickly when you need them most? I run into this problem all the time. For example, when I'm making a beat and I want to change a hi-hat or a snare sound in my drum kit. Now, first off, I should say that Sample Manager runs as a plugin in any DAW, but I'm using Ableton Live. All right, check it out. Here's how I find or try to find samples in Ableton Live. Now, the best I can do with Ableton Live is go to my sample library and use this search box up here where I can search on file names. But when I search something, let's search for hat. I mean, look at this. They're embedded in folder within folder. And if I need to find something, I'm opening tons of folders just to find them. And it's only searching by file name and not by tags, which come along with many samples. All right, now look at how Sample Manager does it. When you first use it, you just need to open up the plugin and add your library location. And then ADSR Sample Library automatically scans and sorts everything with the tags. Now all my samples, I mean everything from Splice to Loop Masters is tagged and ready to go. If I'm looking for something like a bass, I just click on bass and here are all the bass sounds from all of the folders in my sample library. Look at this, I've got bongos. I didn't even realize I had bongo sounds in my library. Something tagged as guitar. And if you wanna preview it, you just click on it. You can also use the search bar at the top. So if you're searching for something like, mm, I don't know, ambient. All right, if you're not impressed yet, wait till I show you these two features. First, you can play any loaded sample right away like a MIDI instrument. So I loaded a sample for the guitar sound in this song, and this is what it sounds like. Now, you can play it right away on a keyboard or a drum pad, whatever you have, just like any MIDI instrument. You can also change keys, adjust it by semitones even, so if I didn't like it playing like this, I can raise it. I can also uh, change the speed, change the key, change it to loop, and change the playback direction. There's so much you can do right in here. Now, I use it for the guitar sample here, then I also use it for the keys sample. So again, I just searched for a keys sample, found this one here. You can load as many of these as you like. It's really light and it loads really fast. So I thought to myself, wouldn't it be amazing if I could create a drum kit in Ableton where every sound, every pad was actually an instance of ADSR Sample Manager. That would make it so much easier to switch out and tweak sample sounds while I'm building a drum kit for a song. So I did it. I just opened up a blank drum rack. So we've got no sounds in here yet. And then for each one of these pads, I loaded ADSR Sample Manager. So I dragged this down here and now I get to choose a sound. If I'm looking for a kick, I can just search for kick. And now I've got all my kick sounds. Let's choose that one. I'm gonna name this kick. And now I'm ready to choose a snare. Again, I'm loading the ADSR Sample Manager and this time I'll search for snare. So there's all my snares. I can choose one. There you go. Now I've chosen the snare, done. Let me show you the one I already created for this song. So here's the drum rack and I've added a kick, a snare, a closed hi-hat, an open hi-hat and a clap. Let's play the drum beat by itself. Now you'll see all of them 
have ADSR sample library loaded for their source. Now, if I start to think that I want to change that snare sound, I'm not in love with that snare. Let's change it to something else. Open up ADSR, say, eh. yeah, I like that snare by Orbit, but let's try something else. There you go, change the snare. Let's try something else. Now, if I want to change something like the clap, I can do the same thing. Open up ADSR Sample Manager for the clap and look for a clap sound that I like. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Nice. Now, once I've created a drum kit, I can also just start to play it on my drum pads. Now, just because you've used Sample Manager for your drum kit doesn't mean you can't add extra effects to it. So you'll see for the clap, I've loaded the Sample Manager, but then I added a chorus to it and the Valhalla plate. Now, there are some limitations when using Sample Manager as a sample player compared to using maybe something like Ableton Simpler. You'll see with Ableton Simpler, you've got many more controls, but many of these controls could really just be added later after Sample Manager. For example, I could change the snare by adding a filter, and I can do this by just adding it right after Sample Manager. You know, I love plugins like this. They're simple, light, and they just do one job really well. Oh, did I mention it's free? Also, this thing does a really good job at refreshing your library. Let's watch that in action. So this is my app that gets samples from splice.com. Let's search for some, let's search for a new hi-hat. Let's find something that I don't own. Huh. Interesting enough. So I'm gonna purchase that. Let's see if it's available in Sample Manager. What was it called? Cowbell? There it is, it's already there. Boom, now I've changed the hi-hat in my beat. Check it out. That's super fast, it makes things really useful and very seamless. Wow, I love this thing. A link to ADS, our sample manager, is in the description of this video. Go get it, it's free. And watch for more videos on my channel for awesome free plugins. Now, go use your sample library and Keep making the music you love. See you guys later.